in this class we shall deal with whey protein but if you remember in our previous class uh, when we were covering amino acids that time we said that there are 20 amino acids and two are 20 amino acids which are having coding universal coding system they have given code and uh, that day I could not show you, uh, but uh, today of course, I shall show you and that should be in the beginning that we go to uh, that list of amino acids and their coding names. I had shown you earlier uh, different amino acids uh, structures but uh, their uh, short name or or uh, what we call uh, the, the the short not only short name that is called also your uh, uh, when 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 we are making uh, abbreviation so this abbreviated names also there and in that we uh, we can see that there are 20 amino acids which are listed right and uh, these have the abbreviated name and the code right uh, this i and o are together so i think we should do the correction because it is not fair that uh, this should be there this is one and we come to that yeah so that there is this mistake c o i or c i o d that was a mistake typing and uh, because o and i these two keys are side by side so we see that alanine has a abbreviated or short name ALA has a code A then cysteine with an abbreviation of C Y C that is with the capital C code then aspartic acid which is ASP right with a code D then 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 glutamic acid this is g l u missing glutamic acid and this is also u is missing uh, it's not cut and paste but i don't know why it didn't take it should have been so let us make it a little this side this also a little this side so that that comes in yeah it has come in so we come to that uh, we have yeah now that as glutamic acid this is glu with e as the code then phenylalanine with uh, abbreviation phe code f glycine with uh, abbreviation GLY and uh, code is G, histidine with uh, an abbreviation of HIS and uh, the code is H, then isoleucine which has uh, an abbreviation of ILE right though this appears to be double L but not true it is I L E and uh, the code is I lysine with an abbreviation of L Y S and the code is L uh, code is K L is not with lysine and uh, then leucine that has an abbreviation of L E U and the code is L then we have methionine which has abbreviation of MET and the code is M capital M 
then we have aspergin that has uh, one uh, abbreviation as ASN and the code is N proline which has an abbreviation of PRO with a code of P then glutamine with an abbreviation of GLN uh, with a code of Q arginine abbreviation is ARG and uh, code is uh, capital R and then we have serine with uh, that SCR the other day we were saying right it is serine and uh, this uh, abbreviation is SCR and uh, code is S then we have threonine with an abbreviation, abbreviation of THR and the code is T valin with an abbreviation of VAL code is V tryptophan abbreviation of TRP and code is W and tyrosine with an abbreviation of TYR code is W oh, sorry code is Y right. So, we have you see how many numbers we have how many numbers we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in this side in this side 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, these 20 amino acids have the abbreviation as well the code right. In many cases, if the code you are not conversant, then abbreviation also because ALA the moment you write abbreviated, then it appears that this is the amino acid alanine, right? Because the abbreviation is made in the way which you can easily pick up the actual amino acid. For example, arginine, it is A R G right though your uh, uh, code is r but your abbreviation is arg so arg corresponds to arginine right so this way i just repeat once again i repeat alanine a l a a quickly cysteine c u i c c aspartic acid a s p d glutamic acid g l u e Phenylalanine PHE F, glycine GLY G, histidine HISH, isoleucine ILE I, lysine LOISK, leucine LEUL, methionine METM, aspargine ASN, capital N, proline PROP, glutamine GLNQ, arginine ARGR, serine SERS, threonine THRT, valine VALV, tryptophan TRPW and tyrosine TYRY. Right? So, this is the abbreviated as well as coded name of the different 20 amino acids. Right? Now, a small addition I would like to make here that there are 19 primary amines, 19 primary amines and one that is proline is a secondary amine right and th there are 19 chiral these all 19 uh, amino acids are chiral except glycine which is a chiral right a chiral and chiral then what is chiral chiral is that the asymmetric in such a way there is asymmetry in such a way that the mirror image is not superimposable right mirror image now this is one hand the mirror image is this right. 
So, you see that 1 to 1 it is coming and that is called the mirror image and this is not superimposable right. Superimposable we would have been like this or things like that. So, the mirror image which comes is because here it is not the mirror both the hands are there had it been the mirror image then you would have seen that uh, they are not coming into or uh, superimposing. So, if that is superimposable then it is uh, I mean optical activity is uh, different isomerism is different all these are there. So, 19 of these amino acids are achira, uh, chiral having chiral property or chiral property, but one out of that that is glycine is uh, archiral right. So, chiral we said it is the asymmetry in which uh, the structure of the original is not superimposable to its mirror image right. So, this thing also adds to the information of the previous class as 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 amino acids right. Now, we will go forward for today that is other proteins right. So, that is wave protein right. We said earlier when <coughs> we were talking about the protein that time that protein uh, casein is around 80 percent and whey protein is around 20 percent right. So, whey protein it contains hydrophilic amino acids forming globular highly ordered proteins that contain disulfide linkages. It also has hydrophobic right hydrophobic amino acids also that is why it is sparingly soluble or it is just soluble in water. Whey proteins have well developed secondary, tertiary and quaternary structures right. So, we have seen earlier in casein it has also uh, primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary structure where protein also do have secondary well developed secondary tertiary and quaternary structures poorer in heat stability but it is le much less uh, heat stable than that of the casein you remember we had said casein uh, can be heated even up to 150 degrees centigrade without degradation, but not so with the whey protein. So, it is poorer in heat stability, it denatures at temperature greater than 75 degrees centigrade, right. Hydrophilic amino acids are aspartate, glutamine, glutamate, histidine, lysine, serine, arginine, tyrosine, tryptophan, threonine and cysteine right. These are all which are associated with the whey protein right. Then there are two types of primary whey proteins two types of primary whey proteins one is alpha lactalbumin and the other is beta lactalbumin right. So, this alpha and beta this lactalbumin they constitute around uh, uh, they uh, synthesized in mammary gland they are synthesized in mammary gland and approximately 20 and 40 percent of the total whey protein in bovine milk is composed of alpha and beta lactalbumin 20 and 40 percent respectively. Alpha lactalbumin 20 percent, beta lactalbumin 
40 percent. So, this 20 and 40 you have are there in the total protein present in milk right and they are synthesized in the mammary gland of the mammals right. Other whey proteins are proteose, pep, proteose peptones, immunoglobulins, serum, albumin etcetera. Some more will come subsequently as when we are proceeding right. So, proteose uh, peptone, immunoglobulin and serum albumin. So, then albumin or lactalbumin, if we look at it resembles, but not identical with blood albumin. I do not know how many of you have seen or undergone blood tests where this albumin is also there. So, that is why it resembles the blood albumin, but not identical with the blood albumin, right. Dried form is tasteless powder chemically extremely complex like other proteins. We have seen that proteins they do have big big structures or polymer of many many amino acids, many types of also amino acid depending on the protein. So, there it is also complex in our alpha or lactalbumin right. So, it contains sulfur twice that of the casein and it contains no phosphorus. So, in casein we have seen we have some sulfur and phosphorus, but in particularly this lactalbumin there is no phosphorus, but sulfur is twice that is pre that present in casein. Sulfur content is very high, but phosphorus is not there. right? So, out of which we have said that this is alpha lactalbumin and beta lactalbumin. Right? So, if we look at alpha lactalbumin, if we look at alpha lactalbumin, alpha lactalbumin is spherical, glycosylated, Com compactly folded calcium metalloprotein, right? It is spherical, glycosylated, compactly folded, and ca calcium metalloprotein that is alpha lactalbumin, and it consists approximately around 140 two numbers of amino acids, 142 numbers of amino acids are present in this right and not only that and this is approximately 14 kilo Dalton in size, 14 kilo Dalton in size. Yeah. So, approximately 14, 14 kilo Dalton right. Now, in this respect let me confess that the other day perhaps by mistake I had said that uh, kilo Dalton K D A is an unit of the uh, unit of the length or something like that, but it is not. I am if I had done, I apologize that was totally mistake, which I uh, after was realized, but by the time the class was over, subsequent class I did not come to my mind. Since that kilo Dalton has come again today, so I say that please correct and that, that is kilo Dalton is the, is the unit of mass of the atom. This is mass of the atom is expressed in kilo Dalton, whereas the length or 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 that dimension, right? 
length or that dimension in molecular level is said in terms strong in terms of Armstrong A right. So, 1 Armstrong is equals to 10 to the power minus 10 meter right 1 Armstrong is 10 to the power minus 10 meter whereas, this 1 unit of kilo Dalton is equal to 1 kilo Dalton is equals to so far I remember it is 1 point something 6 may be into 10 to the power minus 27 right. So, let me write again that uh, this is 1 kilo Dalton is equals to 21.6 into 10 to the power minus 27 right uh, 27 what kg right whereas 1 Armstrong is equals to 1 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter. So, this is the molecular mass which I made a mistake in the in some class and I after that when it came to my mind uh, because that time perhaps I made the mistake. So, it is better to uh, accept it because mistake is mistake that can happen and uh, it is rectified now that this is one Armstrong is the unit of the uh, size in the sense it is dimension length or breadth or whatever right length breadth or whatever that is the dimensional. So, it has approximately what we said 142 numbers of amino acids and approximately 14 kilo Dalton molecular mass right. It is synthesized and secreted by the mammary gland it contains 4 disulfide bonds again that disulfide if you remember we had shown like this that with chlorine and chlorine this is the disulfide bond right. So, that is S 2 C L 2 is this molecular formula right. So, that is there that uh, disulfide bond is there it 4 disulfide bonds are there and 8 cysteine residues and is rich in tryptophan. Three genetic variants have been identified for this alpha lactalbumin and it is principal protein in human milk. So, this is the principal protein in human milk right. So, because it is easily digestible and uh, that is why nature has provided like that. So, the, uh, you said the study of nature uh, some other class also the uniqueness right. Then beta globulin right. So, beta globulin is or bit, sorry beta lactalbumin sorry beta lactalbumin and this beta lactalbumin is around 172 amino acids are there. So, it is composed of beta lactalbumin around 178 amino acids with an approximately molecular weight of 18 kilo Dalton right. It was 14 kilo Dalton for the alpha. So, it is 18 kilo Dalton uh, that is the approximate and there it was around 142 amino acids here it is 178 amino acids right. So, that is why may be the molecular mass is also different. It of course, number does not matter in that way because may be heavy, huge number, but the molecular mass could be less depending on the assembly of the amino acids 
but molecular mass is very high, but number is also low that also can happen depending on the individual amino acids which are making the protein or this alpha or beta lactalbumin that is the protein right. It exists in both the monomeric and dynamic form at equilibrium in bovine milk right. Both the alpha and beta it exists in both the monomeric not alpha beta 1 only both monomeric and dynamic form is their monomer that is the unit right and dimer the double of that two of them. So, but both of them monomer and dimer are in equilibrium in bovine milk right bovine means those like uh, cattle who uh, which are which are reared at home normally right. So, that bovine milk that of course, uh, generally bovine uh, corresponds to cow generally bovine a synonym of cow, but it also can be those which can be reared at home like, uh, like uh, this buffalo or some others right. So, it exists in both the uh, both the monomeric and dimeric form and it is at equilibrium and in at equilibrium it is uh, both present equally they are at equilibrium that is al monomer and dimer of the beta beta lactal bumin right. So, its association depends on temperature pH then protein then concentration protein concentration and ionic conditions right. So, that depends on these factors that is as uh, temperature, pH, uh, protein content or protein concentration and ionic conditions. The hydrophobic dimeric form linked by 1 to 3 linked by 1 to 3 disulfide bonds is approximately 36 kilo Dalton. Hydrophobic dimeric form linked by 1 to 3 right disulfide bonds is approximately 36 kilo Dalton right. So, normally Dalton is expressed in D also, but if you are in some of the books it is also d a and k is small kilo Dalton right. Higher concentrations of beta lactoglobulin are present in bovine milk that compared to the human milk right. So, higher concentration of beta lactoglobulin is present in bovine milk compared to that in the human milk right. So, that we are coming to the end of the class. So, let me recapitulate that we had said there are 20 amino acids which we earlier we said and we have given the list of the amino acids and also we have given the uh, abbreviated terms abbreviated amino acids or abbreviations and the code right. For example, uh, one small example alanine is uh, uh, is is um, abbreviated as A L A and the coding is also A right like that between A to Z 20 alphabets have been chosen and given corresponding code to the amino acids. It is not necessarily that we with respect to the initial uh, the codes are given, but 
it is like that those codes are given to alpha uh, not alphabetically, but according to of course, uh, how the bigger and bigger complex things are coming right. A little uh, a, 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 there is there is a little um, uh, I, I don't say correlation, but it, it, it was maintained. Okay, if alpha numeric, it can be not numeric. Alpha vertically, if can be arranged in, in a way as close as possible, right? Like leucine and isoleucine, right? Or lysine and leucine they are not having this because both L cannot be there. So, one was L and one was K. So, like that it is all given. So, it was and then we went to the whey protein where we have seen it is uh, primarily alpha lactal bumin and beta lactal bumin. So, and then uh, we said about that and around 20 to 40 percent of the total protein present is in this form right so today we are out of time so let us stop it today thank you